Hey there, hanging out today with Gonzaga women's golfer Sierra Min. Sierra, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Amanda. It's nice to be here. So first of all, how is your summer going? Summer's going well. It's been a lot of working. Um, I haven't been able to golf too much because I'm trying to kind of recover from an injury from last year. But yeah. Awesome. And your coach just announced your schedule yesterday for this upcoming season. And it's a lot of places you actually have played at before. You guys played at tournaments in the same locations last season. How much does that help you when you really know a course and you've played there before? I think it makes a huge difference. I think that's kind of what was so hard for us this past season was we played at a new course almost every week that we did play. Um, so kind of having that comfort is really nice. Um, it's not only just getting to know the course, just kind of the feel of the tournament makes a big difference. You know, when we're, when we're returners, it, it makes it a lot easier to go back to for sure. Awesome. And you can give us the scouting report for your team this season. I know there's a few changes, but what does your team overall look like this upcoming season? Big changes, actually. Um, we actually only have three returners, which I think is my coach's like least amount of returners. Um, and it's sad because we lost really cool seniors, but we have three new incoming we're two freshmen and a transfer, and we're really, really looking forward to it because it's just, I think our team struggled a little bit um, last season, so going into a, a brand new fresh start is really, it's really something to look forward to. And it's your junior season this year. You're an upperclassman now, so kind of getting over the first half of your college career, what do you think you've learned so far in those first two years that you can kind of take into your upperclassman years? That's, it's so weird to say, <laughs> to <Right>. hear. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I think just kind of being an older person on the team, it makes you feel a little more responsible for the people who are younger than you. Um, I think it's kind of just one of those processes, even in high school, where you look back and it's like, wow, I've got this much under my belt. You know, um, I think school is now really, really important. And it's a time where, at least for me, if I want to start applying to things after, it's going to be happening soon. So. And so since it's summertime, we're not quite to the regular season yet, not quite to the school year yet, though we're getting pretty close. Um, we want to talk about just some fun things, just a little get to know you. Uh, to <laughs> question. So first question, how did you start playing golf? Um, when I was about seven, I had played a lot of sports when I was younger, which is kind of funny because I'm really not athletic. Um, <laughs> but my mom, I never stuck to any of them, and my mom had told me that I needed to just choose one by the end of the summer. So I signed up for, I think, tennis, golf, and swimming, and I ended up liking all of them and couldn't decide. Um, but my dad played golf, so it was something that I just wanted to do to get you know closer and spend more time with. But now, now he barely golfs. <laughs> That's awesome. Was there, was there a time when you kind of passed him in skill level? <laughs> uh, I think I can outdrive him, but he, he disagrees with me every time I bring it up, so. <laughs> All right, so we won't, we won't talk about that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you are from Hilo, Hawaii, so what was the transition like from Hawaii to Spokane, Washington, where you do get some pretty cold winters? It, it was huge. Um, I feel like Hawaii is not a part of the United States sometimes because it's a huge culture change. I think that's the biggest difference. Um, I was lucky where one of my teammates was from Hawaii, too, so she helped me a lot with that. Um, the first winter was pretty tough, I'd say, um, but I had a really good roommate freshman year that I'm still living with now, so it made the whole transition a lot easier, but still definitely miss home a lot. Yeah, sure. what were the biggest differences that you noticed between the mainland and Hawaii? Uh, the food, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the way that we talk, because sometimes I don't think I talk very Hawaiian-y, like pigeon, they call it, but sometimes people are like, Sierra, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> so <laughs> that's probably the biggest change. And I guess the people, but they're both great. They're just different, I guess. Yeah. And I think all of us who grew up here wish we could have grown up on Hawaii. So in Hawaii. So uh, what was the best part about growing up in Hawaii? Um, I think... Just the culture, everyone is, especially where I'm from, I'm from a smaller town, so everyone kind of knows each other and is really nice to each other, and it's it's not really like a big city kind of thing where you just pass by and don't say hi to anyone. Um, so it's really nice. You build really tight relationships with everyone around you, which is cool. Uh, what is your favorite movie? Mm, my favorite movie would probably be Soul Surfer. Um, 
And I, I like it because I feel like it makes you more brave into going into the water, which because I'm afraid of the water and I'm from Hawaii, which I find kind of weird. But I find it even weirder that I like a movie that's about having uh, her arm getting eaten by a shark. <laughs> and then, like, somehow makes me feel better about going into the water. I don't know. <laughs> Ultimately, it's an uplifting movie, though, so it's not all. <laughs> Um, what about your favorite musical artist or uh, favorite type of music? Anything in the musical genre? Because I know that one, people are very specific about that sometimes. <laughs> um, I think being from Hawaii, the one kind of music that I did not like before coming to college was country. And now that's like the only thing I listen to on the radio. Um, so yeah, I'm really into country now. My favorite artist would probably be, I love One Direction. I'm a huge One Direction fan that people are embarrassed for me to say, but it's. <laughs> nice. Uh, what about a TV show that you binge watch that you just can't get enough of and maybe watch like four episodes a day occasionally? I watch Grey's Anatomy every single day. Really? That's a popular answer for this question. I've asked this question a few times and that is a popular answer. Yeah. And I mean, I like it especially because I'm a, I'm a pre-med student, but I find a lot of people who just like it and they just, I don't know, it's, it's fun to watch. I've watched yeah. the whole entire series like four times. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the coolest place you've ever traveled to? Um, I got to go to Scotland once for golf, which I think was cool because that was like, that's where golf started. But I would say it wouldn't be the coolest place because I didn't enjoy it because it was too cold. <laughs> um, my favorite place that I traveled to was New York because it's my favorite place in the world and I just love yeah. going there. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So maybe it'll have to do with a question I've already asked, but what is the most embarrassing song on your iPod? And that song that you have to either explain when it comes on or, you know, hit the next button really fast. <laughs> is there a song like that on your iPod or your, your musical playlist? Yes, a lot. <laughs> um, like I said, everyone's embarrassed for me that I like One Direction, but one song that's like, it's on my iPod because my little brother uses my iTunes account, so we like, we share it, and I think he once downloaded the SpongeBob Fun song, and so it'll occasionally come on when I'm like driving or something, and I just look at the person next to me, and I'm like, this is not mine. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm embarrassed that I actually know the words to that song. <laughs> yeah, I know the words to it too, so... <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do that later. Um, what, is your, what is your favorite thing about Gonzaga? Um, I feel like every Gonzaga student you ask will say the same thing where it's all about community. You know, we all like love being Gonzaga students. I don't know any other place. I mean, I visited a lot of other friends at their schools where they don't really enjoy being there. Or they miss home a lot, especially being from Hawaii. Um, but when I'm here, I love it. You know, it's everyone loves being a, a zag and the the school pride that we have is amazing so it's a lot of fun to be around those kind of people and as you mentioned earlier you're pre-med and you were telling me a little bit earlier before we started this chat about the summer job you have so can you just tell us about what you're doing this summer it's because it's, it's really cool yeah um i am a emergency department scribe um, a medical scribe so we basically follow around the physician um we we're they call us an extension of the physician. So we take all their notes. We do their basically their entire dictation um, so that they don't have to stay later and do it. Um, and it, it they have our whole company saying is doctors save patients and scribes save doctors. So that's kind of our mission. <laughs> I, until you told me about this, did not know this was a job. So how did you get kind of connected with this and, and find out about it and start and start doing it? Um, Gonzaga is pre-med program will send you emails relating to any science-y kind of jobs. And I had seen this job a while back, and I just applied. Um, and my boss contacted me, and she's actually from exactly where I'm from. She didn't go to the same high school, though. But you never, ever find someone who's from Hilo that lives here, especially in Coeur d'Alene, I'd say. Um, and so she contacted me. We talked a little, and I got the job, and I started the beginning of summer. So. And has, yeah. it been, has it been interesting and a good experience for you? Yeah, it's it's been an absolutely incredible experience. It's one of those things that you love going to work to do. You know, a lot of the physicians have told me that this is just such a good way to get experienced into the field and really see if this is what you want to do. Um, so I, I love it, for sure. <laughs> awesome. Sounds like a really cool thing that you're going to do this summer. Um, yeah. 
One more question, or a couple more questions for you, but this one, uh, what's one interesting fact about yourself? Either something that people may not know about you or that you just kind of really like about yourself. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's kind of hard. Know about <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if people don't know me, um, like my mom always tells me that I'm such an extrovert, but I think if you don't know me well, or if I don't know you, I'm actually really shy. Like people who, who just recently met me think I'm really, really shy. Mm -hmm. But once you do get to know me, it's like no barriers after that. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. You've been great on this chat so far. Um, and then last question for you. What are you most excited about for this upcoming season? Um, I am super excited to go to Vegas for our tournament because my family always comes and I eat the greatest food. <laughs> but I think just the whole the whole idea of a fresh start is really what I'm looking forward to the most. Um, I have a really good friend joining the men's team, and then one of my really good friends is the transfer that's coming on to our team. So I think just having a lot of close friends around me and just new people is going to be really, really fun. That's awesome. Well, best of luck on the upcoming season and have a great rest of your summer. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Amanda.